I am starting to get low. You know what that means. I am showing that there is a Walmart up the road here. But the Chatamo is not working or it's being used at the moment. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? got to get a charge somehow oh this sounds so fake oh I know how to get a charge I'm covered kilowatt hyper fast charger let's uh, plug this thing in oh. Oh, I'm not a fan I could tell you Chatmo is better than CCS in uh, trying to get things plugged in okay it's initiating charge it. Is it working? Is it going to work? I'll let this thing say continue and then I will press it, it looks like. It seems to be working. Come on, keep going. It has not failed yet. I'll just touch it anyway. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. And there it goes. Very first time. All right. I have to say, this adapter from A-Crane is working magnificent. It's going to keep me on the road quite a bit. I'm ready for those. I'm ready for those adventures now. The Electrify America app did state that uh, the Chatamo was busy, and it's not that it was busy. It's there's another car charging there that is a non-Chatamo, <coughs> which is a big deal when you only have one Chatamo and all these pumps. CCS cars usually block us out, so now I'm blocking them out. Not, not that I want to. If I have access to Chatamo, I'm going to take it. But sometimes things like that happen. So what are my plans today now that I could pretty much have any network except for Tesla? But that may be coming. We do have a Tesla with the Magic Dock about 75 miles away from here in Tampa. We are planning to go to the Ringling Brothers Museum and the Dolly Museum and go out to eat sometime this week or possibly next week. And I will be testing out the Tesla charger, the supercharger with the Magic Dock with this adapter. But so far, it's been working incredible. I, I love it. Now, what are my plans for the day? What kind of adventures is going to happen? Once I get juiced up, we'll just have to see. I really don't have anything planned. Well, I finished charging, but I came over here to the Chatamo side just to see. And yeah, the Chatamo's broke. There's an error and it's been erroring out. I've tried it. So I'm glad I did have the adapter and did get some charge because uh, Electrify America does not keep their Chatamo's working properly. In fact, look at all the spiders in there. That's scary. Yeah, on Electrify America, I just wanted to make sure that it was working on multiple pumps because, like I said, the Chatamo was not working here. Even though it was blocked earlier, it really didn't matter because, well, it just wasn't. The, the Chatamo wasn't working. But I am at pump three, which I originally started on that pump, which I believe was pump two or four. I don't remember. I think that was four. That's three. This is 150 kilowatt. Let's walk on out there. Ugh. So this is a 150 kilowatt machine. The other one was a 350. Worked at that one. It's working at the 150 also. So there we go. It is working flawless. Okay, it's climbing. It's up to 50. I know this car can take 100, but if you let's look at the temperature. So I'm okay doing, I'm okay at temp. I am at 59, 59% state of charge. So it shouldn't go that high. But uh, hey, even at 50 kilowatts, that's, a, what a, that's what a normal Nissan Leaf gets. You know, this, just the standard, the 62 kilowatt plus like I have, can charge at 100. So far, you know, it's hard to find a charger here in the state of Florida that actually charges at the state of charge the machines actually say they do. I'm getting a decent charge over here. 
before I take off and try and find something fun to do today before having to go back to work. I figured seeing all this stuff over here. I mean, it is blistering hot outside. One of the great things about living in a motor home and just traveling around and staying at campgrounds and stuff, you don't have to deal with all this stuff, but there are days that I myself do miss going out and mowing the lawn, weed eating, possibly doing some decorations with brickwork in the front yard. And uh, this stuff just brings back, oh, speaking of motorhomes, there's a uh, one passing right now. But I'm not the only one. I mean, uh, Steph stuck in a truck. I know she dreams of it, getting a solid place to live one day. I'm just not ready for it just yet. You know, maybe when we get over to the Philippines and get a condo and stuff like that. I mean, we won't have much yard work at a condo on the beach, but um, we can at least go and enjoy the scenery of everybody else's property. Focus more on interior than exterior. Here in Florida right now, it's just way too hot to get out and do anything. Pull weeds, mow the grass, lay bricks. Lots of people locally especially said, you charge at Electrify America? Oh, that, that truck is loud and he doesn't even have a trailer. You charge Electrify America, you know those things are operated by diesel. And I go, no, no, they're not. What are you talking about? They don't understand. They see these big, the, like this one here is all blocked off in a fenced in area. They think behind there is a generator, a diesel generator. And I tell them, and, they, and I tell them, that's not a generator. And they go, oh yeah, you can see the yellow stuff, whatever the, there's, there's no yellow stuff. It's, you can't see nothing. Those behind there for everybody that watches the video that doesn't have EVs or thinks that diesel generators power these things. It, it's not true. These, in fact, I believe Electrify America is 100% reuse or renewable energy, like solar, wind, and stuff like that. Most of, almost all their energy comes from re, uh, renewables. It's either Electrify America or EVgo. One of the two does it. I think I th maybe both of them do it. This here behind here is just storage. It's like just super big batteries that store the juice and then feed it into these and then is fed more juice from the sun and stuff. So it collects the solar, the wind, all into these inverters. I think it's just like a big inverter in there. And then it inverts all the AC power to DC. And then I, I believe that's how it works. I could be wrong. They're, they're inverters and batteries and it feeds these. There's, there's no diesel generator in there. As a matter of fact, on top of the Walmart's roofs up here, I believe there's quite a, a, a solar array on the roofs. I could be wrong, but I believe most of the Walmarts do have solar panels on their roofs. And that could be feeding into these too, but I don't think so. I think this is a whole new grid system. There's so many solar panels out in the fields of Florida that I, I believe is part of all this EV electrification. I mean, I, I'm talking out my ass, but I believe that's how it works. It's crazy that that big orange ball up there is feeding us power right to this machine, right to that cable, right to that adapter by a crane. Look, look at me, look at me. Yeah, to the adapter, into the car, into the inverter that's built into the car that changes it and puts it into my battery. So much tech. Brought to you by the sun.